hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me sarah mo this week we are going to be following me through my self-care sunday um rituals that i do weekly whenever i do have time these aren't necessarily done on sundays as you can see right now i'm just turning on my humidifier turning off the lights and just kind of setting my room up for that tranquil relaxed vibe that i'm looking for after i get out of the shower so what I usually like to do before I hop in the shower is um, just put some oils in my hair. I usually like coconut oil and flaxseed oil. I like to massage this on my scalp and just let it sit overnight. But since I didn't have time yesterday to do this, I did it early in the morning um, before my breakfast and just kind of let this sit in for about two to three hours. Now I'm just going ahead and dampening my hair with some hot water guys i don't know about most of you guys but for me i literally can only take hot showers cold water and i are not friends whatsoever you'll see that later on in this clip after running my hair under the hot water to open up my hair cuticles i like to take my as i am's coconut co-wash and work this through my scalp and really just massage it in to get a really good cleanse um, there's only ever two occasions that I use shampoo, so when I don't, this is, you know, co-washes and pre-poos are my next best favorite thing. Now, because I've had my hair in without washing for about two weeks since it was um, blow-dried and in a ponytail for about two weeks, I'm just going in and doing this process twice. Now, living in Vegas, there's so much dirt and toxins in the air that um, I usually will wash my hair on the fifth day, but seeing as that I kept it in for longer, I have to go in to make sure that I, you know, my OCD kicks in and I really just want to make sure I get a really good deep cleanse. And I just take this time to really massage my scalp for five to ten minutes and because it can get a little boring, yes, I do jam out just a little bit. And girl, let me tell you, if you're not already doing it by now, you should. Massaging your scalp really good for a couple of minutes helps promote um, healthy hair growth because of the blood circulation. So the next thing I do is go in with my normal conditioner. Now, I know this conditioner right here... Um, it has a lot of controversy surrounding it because it does have alcohol ingredients in it. However, I literally swear by this product. The OGX Renewing Argan um, Oil of Morocco Conditioner, it does exactly what it says. It renews and it's one of my favorite conditioners to use after I've put some sort of heat in my hair or whenever I feel like my hair is weak and brittle and it can use some restoring. Honestly, I feel like with this product, you just kind of have to take a th leap of faith, you know? Some people really just will never, ever be okay with putting alcohol in their hair. However, because I do have other ways of moisturizing my hair, I don't mind it as much. And because of the damage that my hair has been through this last summer, this conditioner literally saved my life, guys, and just brought my back my curl pattern back to not exactly back to what it was but pretty freaking close i'm just letting the conditioner sit in my hair with a shower cap on for about five minutes then i rinse it out and prepare myself for a deep condition so now i'm taking my cantu grow strong strengthening treatment and my shea moisture deep treatment mask and working this through every single strand of my hair and then braiding it up into two cornrows and letting it sit for about four hours. As you can see here, I'm just splitting my hair into two parts and then taking one section at a time and braiding it towards the back. This is my favorite part of my um, self-care ritual just because it gives me an opportunity to wash away any negativity or negative energy that's been surrounding me this last week and just really prepare myself um with positivity and op with an open heart and open mind and open soul to the new possibilities and opportunities that may present themselves in the coming week after i get out of the shower i will usually take 
a plastic um, bag and just cover my head in it. I usually take an elastic headband and put this around the perimeter of my head just so it could hold the plastic tighter and I won't have trouble whenever I decide to lay down or um, jump around or do anything crazy that I might usually do. So the plastic bag just helps create steam and allows your hair follicles to open up so that di that the deep treatment masks can really get in there and do its job. After I put on my plastic cap, I go ahead and I make my face mask for this week. This week, I'm, I'll be using the Aztec Healing Clay with 100% organic apple cider vinegar. Oh my god, guys, I really can't stand the smell of apple cider vinegar but it is so good for you which i hate you know like nothing's ever nothing that's ever good for you is ever really like something that you like so anyway i am going ahead and mixing this until i get a good consistency i'm also going to be adding in 100 percent cold pressed rosehip oil and tea tree oil and i'm also dropping in a few drops of um tea tree essential oil Guys, this healing clay is so strong and it pulls out any impurities that you have on your face, which is why you don't want to mix this with any kind of metal utensils. Please make sure to use a ceramic bowl or a plastic bowl um, and just a plastic spoon. If you don't have that, I don't know, like use a chopstick maybe. Um, just anything wooden. You never want to use anything metal when you are dealing with this healing clay. Now prepping my face for the face mask, I'm just taking a hot wet towel and pressing this against my face and really just allowing my pores to open up. Now I'm just taking a clean foundation brush and applying the face mask all over my face. So I don't really have a time frame for how long I let these masks sit on my face. I just kind of let them sit there until I feel like my face is dry. In the meantime, I will watch a movie or a show. I'll have a karaoke sing along um, and just really enjoy my own time and just kind of goof around until it dries. Once my face is dry, I just wash my face with warm water and get try to get every single piece of the clay off of my face. Once that's done, I just go in and rinse my face one more time with freezing cold water so that I can close up any of my pores. After I've washed my face, I go in with my Thayer's Witch Hazel and Lavender and Tea Tree Essential Oils. I, caught, I drop a few of these on a cotton pad and I dab this all over my face just to get any remaining dirt, oil, or makeup off and just really close up um, any pores that might still be open. I follow this process by going in and spraying my rose water. Now rose water has anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce the um, redness of irritated skin, get rid of acne, dermatitis, and eczema. It is a great cleanser and it does a really good job of hydrating skin. I follow this step by moisturizing my face with a few drops of rosehip oil and tea tree oil. Now rosehip oil is full of vitamins and antioxidants and essential fatty acids that are known to correct dark spots and hydrate skin while tea tree oil is really good for preventing breakouts so i just tapity tap tap this all into my skin um and i really just like i don't know it feels weird but i really just love tapping my face next i apply my lancome um, eye illuminating youth activating concentrate underneath my eyes I love using my Pond's Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Guys, I know I'm young, but listen, now is the best time to start, okay? Make sure that your skin, by the time that you're 40 or however old you are, does not crack, honey. Anti-wrinkle creams, start using them now, ladies. So the next thing I do is I put on my Sephora Pearl Eye Mask. This is really good for brightening your under eyes if you struggle with dark circles. And that's all she wrote for skincare, y'all. So while I relax and just let this eye mask do its thing, I just pour myself a nice hot cup of tea and I just 
eat for a while. Um, right here, I was watching Get Out. During this time, I like to just unwind, open up my sketchbook or open up my journal to write, to sketch something. I just really like being able to put my thoughts, my emotions, and anything that I'm feeling down on paper. And now it's time for a well, well-deserved dance break. Now, let me tell y'all a little sum about my Millie Rock, okay? I Millie Rock so hard, you won't even know what just happened, okay? And these shoulders, ain't no one got shit on my shoulders. Because I don't see my eyebrow lady as often as I should, I just pluck out any new growth that I have until I can see her. So whenever I have time, I love to sit down and read a book. This week, I'm finishing reading You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. This book is by Jen Sincero. So after a few hours of letting my hair sit, I hop back into my shower. Coming back to rinsing out the conditioner, you do not want to use hot water at all. This Now, this is my like least favorite part of this whole process or just even washing my hair as you can tell i'm a bit over dramatic but i can't stand cold water however because we did use hot water and our hair cuticles are now open and more susceptible to breakage you just want to seal them up and the best way to do that is just with freezing cold water guys like dj khaled and Assad will tell you moisturization is major major keys to having soft skin everyone is always asking me why my hands are so soft or what oh my god your skin feels phenomenal what do you use i literally use anything and everything i just moisturize whether it's coconut oil whether it's shea butter whether it's jergens or any kind of lotion i just as soon as i hop out of that shower best believe the first thing that's going on my skin is lotion so after getting out of the shower and putting in all my leave-in conditioners and my oils into my hair i just let it down and air dry and during this time i just sit down in front of the mirror and recite positive affirmations over and over and over and over again for about 15 to 20 minutes after I finish reciting positive affirmations, I sit there in front of the mirror and just take a moment to meditate and just be aware of my surroundings, my feelings, how my body feels, what is my mental health, what does my soul feel like today. And doing this just allows me to welcome the new week with an open heart and a peace of mind. So the last two things I like to do before going to bed is taking out my planner and my journal. Now, first things first, I'd like to check my planner, write down anything that I know is going on next week or keeping myself updated with any tests or upcoming projects or essays that are due um, and just making sure I know what's going on for my week ahead. As for my journal, I like writing a weekly letter to God, um, just putting my prayers into physical form and putting them on paper. I also like to write down 10 things that I'm grateful for. Now, five of them are things that happened in the, in the last week that are either good or bad, whatever, um, and just being grateful for any lessons or any blessings. And I also like to write five other things that I'm grateful for that will be coming in the future. Now, I know this sounds crazy. Like, why would you be grateful for something that hasn't even happened yet? Well, let me tell you, sis, if you are already grateful for the things that you want, only aiding them into coming a reality. You're manifesting your own reality by being grateful for the things that have yet to take place. You're sending a high frequency out into the universe like, hey, I am ready for whatever you give to me. And ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you watched until now, you are a trooper. I know this was a long video. Um, Anyway, thank you so much for all the support that everyone's been showing. Please like and subscribe. I will see you guys back here next week. Until then, peace, love, and good vibes.